Before I jump into the word, I do want to introduce my wife of 37 years. Miss Karen is here. Good morning, sweetie. In fact, if you would, team, put up the slide and I'll introduce you to my family. Being married 37 years will teach you something, particularly my wife is one of seven children. I married a village of 52 immediate in-laws. It was my big fat Irish Catholic wedding. And uh, they love the Lord and they love me and I've been blessed. And I also love being a daddy and I love being a granddaddy. I don't know how it happened. I'm only 38, but there they are. And I love, I love my grandchildren. They all live down under. There they are at a beach we enjoy often in New Zealand. And uh, if you have a chance to come down under, we have three church campuses in beautiful Auckland and then a church campus in Melbourne, Australia. So uh, the name of the church is called Life. And we hope that if you have a chance to come to town, you'll look it up. It would be a delight to serve you there. But back to my family. You know, I, I put this image up to make a point. This is not the goal for a person's life. Marriage does not complete you. God does. Marriage is a partnership of risk, responsibility, and reward. It is not a cure. And therefore, I did not move forward in life toward this goal as my goal. God is my goal. So whether you are single or whether you are married, it is not another person who completes you. No one really can except the source, which is God. 